Hi friends, this is squad leader Jaisima, the president World Memory Sports Council for India. We're talking about memory. I'm in this field of memory for more than a decade. Training children, people going to the competitive examinations, professionals, adults, and whoever want to become a memory athlete, who wanted to compete and win the Indian or the World Memory Championship, I'm there. And when we talk about this brain, many people say I have got good memory, bad memory. There's nothing called good or bad memory. There are only two things called trained or untrained memory. So if you go through training, anyone can improve memory. And I have learned only through training by researching, but by finding out few techniques. And our brain has got more than 100 billion neuron cells. And one cell is equal to one supercomputer. So doctors say, if we read every book written by every author, on every subject, in every language in the whole world, we can't even fill 20% of the human brain capacity. That is the brain that we are carrying. Having such a beautiful brain, we are not able to remember few equations, few formulas, one speech, one long answer question. And we face that this problem that I am not able to remember. Most of us have got this problem. The problem is you don't know the methodology. and how does this brain remember whether you are a student or a professional, business person, homemakers, rigid? Everyone needs to have good memory. So most of this category people think that if you are in the school, you are in the college, you are going for IIT or NEET exam, IAS exam, you need to have good memory. After that, memory is not required. So memory training is not for me. Why should I need good memory? Imagine, I finish my talk and I need to go back to my house. I had forgotten my house and I go to my neighbor's house and press the buzzer. What they will do? They are going to put me in the police station. Whoever I am, whatever may be my age, whatever I may be doing, I need to have good memory because understand, memory is life and life is memory. Without memory, life doesn't exist at all. And as long as you are there, what are you? You are your memories. If I take these memories away, you will become a vegetable. And we all take this memory for granted. Anything for that matter. Before we have it, we'll be craving to possess it. Once you lose it, you appreciate the value of it. But when you are having that with you, that particular item, you will never appreciate. Maybe a relation, maybe an item, anything for that matter. Before having it, after losing it, you know the value. But when that person, that relation, that particular item is with you, you will never appreciate the value. So memory, we all take it for granted. Only when you start losing it, then you know how important that memory is. And 75% people in this world are getting into this problem because of a lifestyle, busy schedule, stress, work pressure, targets, want to make a lot of money, no physical exercise, no proper food, improper sleep, lot of lifetime challenges. And for that, you need a good memory. And then understand one quick tip for memory. What is this one quick tip? You have to understand visualization. What is meant by visualization? Our brain and our computer both work in similar fashion. If we type something into the computer, what does it do? It converts the data into binary numbers, 0, 1, 1, 0, y. The computer is configured only to understand binary numbers. Similarly, brain, whether we read English or science or social or mathematics, when it goes inside, the brain converts the data into pictures. Brain has only brain will understand only picture language the way we have one television in the house there's one tv in the brain and brain understands only the picture language if i told you dinosaur what has come to you dinosaur picture not the spelling taj mahal you saw taj mahal construction not the spelling if i told you mother you saw mother's photograph not the spelling and brain knows only the picture language but when you open the textbook, book is full of words and brain doesn't understand these words. So we need to learn this method. How can we convert this textbook vocabulary into pictures? Now, this is called visualization method. And we teach this method as to how 
brain can remember. That's why a movie that we see, we remember for a long time. But a book that we read, we forget very quickly because movie is full of pictures, book is full of words, brain doesn't like it. This is the foundation, this is the bunyad, this is the base method which we need to learn and we need to master. From there, you will go on to learn substitution method. From there, you will learn something called matching, matching method. From there, you learn about major system or fronting method. Then there's something called PAO method. Like this, we have developed n number of systems and all of them, we have got one stop solution for any memory related problem. So from saying that I read, I forget. I remember, but I'm soon forgetting. I work very hard, but I'm not able to crack that exam. I seem to be losing my day by day, my routine memory. Anyone has got any problem, JSMO Mind Education is one stop solution. Whether you are a child or college or teenager, or you are like me, a middle age, you know, professional or retired person, doesn't really matter. You all can learn and you want to know this method. And you know, JSMO Mind Education, we are based out of Hyderabad. These are our uh, contact numbers. VisionJ at the red gmail.com is my email. And then jsmr.in is website. You can message, you can call us up and you can uh, always take our help. And we'll be more than happy to help you overcome that memory problem because we are on a mission of making India a memory literate country. Imagine with 1.4 billion people who are supposed to be having number one, okay, in memory, number three in IQ, if we can become member literate country, India can go on to become intellectual capital of the world. And that is not possible for me alone, but you and I, if we can join hands as a team, we can really march ahead and we can show light to the whole world. Now that's the purpose for which I'm not only training students and trying to memorize and succeed in their day-to-day -day annual exams and also I'm trying to conduct memory championships every year and helping them with the uh, Indian National Memory Championship, World Memory Championship. Also, they want to get into any record book like Limca Book of Records, India Book of Records or the Guinness Book of Records. Whatever you want to do, I want to earn a name. I want to know something big for myself. I want to, I would like to see myself as a memory athlete. These are the numbers that you can call us up and we'll be happy to help you and see you in our memory course. And we got all of them online digital course because some of you will be asking this question just now we are not in hyderabad we are in jalandhar we are there in you know karnal and we are there in bangalore we are there in trivandrum and we are there in mysore how can we come to you you don't have to come to me and we have got all these beautiful courses online digital video courses and you can subscribe and you can sit at home and write from your house you can learn from me and then once in a week I'll be coming online and then we'll have a one live session and this is going to be a lifetime session where you'll be part of JMAC group as well. So you want to know more about it, you want to promote this program. So call us up, you message us up or you can email us up and then we'll like to see you as a memory champion. And until then, we shall meet up again. Keep smiling. Bye bye. See you again.